Hey everybody, welcome to my studio and another video from Beyond the Lens Workshops. Uh, in my fine art printing workshops, one of the things that I talk about is many different ways to mount and exhibit your prints. And of course, there's matting and framing, which I've uh, uh, demoed here for you before. There's all kinds of canvases and uh, different mounting techniques. And one of the ones that I like to use, which is very clean, very inexpensive, very modern, is mounting onto gator board, which is what this is here. And I've had a lot of people ask me about how exactly to do that and what materials uh, are needed. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to go about doing that. Now here's an example of one of the prints that I've already mounted onto gator board, and this is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. Uh, it's very clean, uh, very simple to do, um, and it's also very inexpensive. And I like to do this not necessarily when I'm trying to sell my work, but when I'm just trying to uh, share it or exhibit it in, uh, you know, in a public space. So, in order to do this, we're gonna need, you're gonna need um, some specific materials. So, number one, of course, you need gator board. And gator board is basically a black, sort of a black foam core, but it's much stronger, much stiffer than a uh, foam core. And I get one that actually has a self-adhesive side to it. So you just peel this off and it has adhesive on it, which makes it very easy to mount your print onto versus having to spray it or what have you. Um, and so you can buy these in different size sheets. This sheet here happens to be 24 by 36. So that's the sheet it comes in. I buy them in a box of 10. And uh, so that gives me enough to, for example, create an exhibit of 10 prints. Uh, second thing you need is some wood strips. Now these are one by one strips that I got at Home Depot. You can get these in any, uh, uh, in any lumber place or, or home department store. And um, these are about maybe 16 or 18 inches wide. We're gonna be gluing these to the back of the gator board to give us number one, a place to hang the, uh, the board from, but also this sort of lifts it from the wall so it kind of creates a very nice 3D effect. You'll also need a glue gun, just as a standard glue gun for mounting those pieces of wood. Okay, and you'll need some uh, weights. These are print weights that you can buy at any uh, uh, art supply place to kind of hold the print in place as we're mounting it. Uh, finally, you'll need uh, a blade to cut, uh, um, cut the backing on the board, and I'll show you exactly how that works. All right, so today I'm gonna be mounting uh, this print here, which is um, printed onto Canson Infinity Platine Fiber Rag. Now, let me just state again, this is not an archival process. I'm not trying to create a print that's gonna be archival for archival purposes or museum purposes. This is strictly for displaying the work. If someone wants to buy the work or what have you, then I will create a separate piece for them that is archival. But this is simply to display it. And the other nice thing about this is that there's no glass or anything on it, so it creates a very nice finished look with nothing separating the viewer from the print itself. And if you're using a really nice paper like like this cans on platine, it creates a really nice presentation. And uh, I've printed this exactly 24 by 36. You can cut it down to that, but on my printer, this is a 36 inch roll, and then I cut it to 24, so this fits perfectly on uh, the 24 by 36 gator board. So it makes it much easier to, to mount. So the first step in this is to line up the print onto the gator board with the self-adhesive side facing up. All right, so you wanna line this up and I'm gonna use the print weights on top of the board to hold it down in place. And then I'm gonna line it up so all the edges are perfectly squared and straight. All right, now once I have that all straight, I'm gonna move my weights to one side. Okay, around here. And I'm gonna take my blade and I'm going to lift the print just gently like this so that it's just sort of folded over and I'm gonna cut one seam very lightly just to cu cut the uh, backing of the adhesive, the sub-adhesive. Okay, so we're just cutting maybe uh, a third of the way in and I'm gonna peel this adhesive off or the, the backing of the adhesive. All right, and that exposes just a little strip of the sticky side, okay? And I'm going to lay the print back down onto the board, gluing that side down. Now you wanna do this very gently and very carefully because you don't want to damage the print or anything like that. I'm, I, my hands are clean and I'm just applying just a very uh, even pressure, very softly, just to glue 
just the end down. You don't want to come too far over where you actually cut because then you'll have a hard time taking off the other piece as I'll show you now. So just enough to uh, glue it on the end. The purpose of this is that now you've glued one end down and that will help you to keep the rest of it in place and lined up so that it doesn't shift and move on you. Again, everything I'm doing here is very gently and very carefully. There's no need to be heavy handed with it. Now I'm gonna move my weights over to the side that's glued down and I'm going to fold again the print over and gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna peel off the protective backing to reveal the adhesive. And you don't wanna destroy or damage this piece because we're actually gonna use this piece of uh, plastic that comes off. Okay, so put this to the side, keep it close by. And now very carefully, okay, because this is a 300 gram weight paper, and that's also kind of important, um, it, it's not gonna buckle or, or, or bubble on you because it's a kind of nice heavy paper. So that lays down very nicely. And now you're gonna use this piece that you peeled off and lay it on top to protect the print and now you can apply pressure with your hand. And actually one side is a little smoother than the other. There we go. All right, I'll do the other side just to smooth it out. And then you can take the weights off. And I will come over and do the other side just to smooth out any areas that haven't adhered 100% yet. Okay, and now you've got the print that's perfectly laid on top of the gator board without any bubbles. I don't have anything that's, uh, that's uh, and it's lined up, perfectly laid flat, no bubbles, no air gaps, anything like that. All right, so that gets this done pretty well. Now the next step is to mount the uh, pieces of wood onto the back. And for that, I'm gonna get a piece, just a, a piece of foam core to protect the print when we put the print side down. So this is just a standard piece of foam core. I'm going to take the print and lay it down like this, very carefully and gently. And then I'm going to take these two pieces of wood. One's going to go here and one is going to go right here. Now, one thing I've done to this piece of wood, which is optional but you can, is I've drilled two holes on each side of this piece of wood, uh, maybe about an eighth of an inch in diameter. And this allows for any type of hanger system that you might be using at home or at a place where you want to hang this so that if you do have some hangers, the hanger hook will kind of go into this hole and keep it from uh, falling off. It just gives it a little more security. So I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm just gonna put a thin strip of glue and I'm going to put this Glue this down on the board about five or six inches from the top and in the center and of course uh, level and even. You can measure this out if you like. Um, I kind of do it by eye because I've done it so many times already. Same thing with the other piece. Put a strip of glue and this glue holds really well. Get out of uh, glue there. Glue this down, give it a good push. All right, and once that's done and it glues pretty quickly, now you can see that when this hangs on the wall, it will be lifted off the wall. It will give you a nice sort of three-dimensional look and that's the finished product there. Um, I've left uh, about, two, about an inch and a half or two inch gap all around the print for some white space. And in Lightroom I've also printed uh, my identity plate down here on every print, so I do this normally with, it's a logo, so that kind of looks nice down here. All right, so that's the, the finished piece, and uh, you know, you might want to try this if you're in a position where you want to display your prints and don't want to use glass and aren't too concerned about archivalness, but want a really high-end professional looking 
presentation without the expense or cost and something you can do on your own at home. And again, you can do this any size you want. It doesn't have to be this big, it can be much smaller. All right, and that's what it looks like on the back. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Any questions, please let me know. Thanks very much.